On this episode of the vlog, we're gonna talk about Behance, my new morning routine, and working out. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the vlog. I'm Irving, let's get right into it. So in the book, Man Up, it talked about like solidifying your morning routine. And let me tell you something, my morning routine sucks. One of the things that he tells you to do is to, right when you get up, drink 16 ounces of water. Your body's all dehydrated from just sleep. Like your brain is using up all this energy and all you're doing is just breathing. So your body's just dehydrated. So to lift that mental fog, just go ahead, and drink some water. Just 60 ounces of water. And you know, later on, I'll go ahead and drink a little bit of coffee or something like that. But um, for the most part, like that did the trick. And just that little bit of change, like really starts off your day off right. So you're not just like all like that or whatever. Another thing that it talks about doing is, you know, the night before, you go ahead and write down three to four things that you need to get accomplished that day. Write those down, and the second you wake up, you drink your water and your coffee and all that stuff, like, go right into it. Don't check your phone, don't look at your emails, nothing like that, no digital media at all. Go ahead, get it done, get those three things done. You know, there's gonna be fire, there's gonna be you know things that you need to take care of that are gonna come up and interrupt your time but for the most part like you can get done three to four things before anybody wakes up in your home uh, he talks about waking up at five o'clock in the morning but for me as like a night person i work um third shift i'm not 100 percent sure what time that would equate to me i was thinking maybe two o'clock in the afternoon but for the most part like go ahead the second you get up like get stuff done you're gonna get that little bit of high just from crossing stuff up and you're gonna feel more accomplished that day more productive just get stuff done in the morning you know when you get out of work and you're just like what the heck did i do today you ever feel that way well with this like you're starting your day off right and you can't say that anymore because you know what you did it's documented in your journal um which is another great point of why you should journal go ahead write it down just write it down and cross it off when it's done i've been journaling now for like uh, consistently now for three weeks and it's just been helping me out a lot I, I don't know why i ever stopped doing it it will help you out too just go ahead google bullet journaling you don't have to get anything crazy just get like like i have this common screw notebook like just do that and just just get it done start journaling it's gonna make your brain feel so much better. I'm telling you, it will. Another thing that I've been doing this week is I've been on Behance a lot. And if you don't know what Behance is, I'll go ahead and drop the link below. But it's like Facebook for designers um, and like illustrators, photographers, whatever, the creative community. It's made by Adobe and it's just a great resource. You get to see what the rest of the community is doing. I like to go on there, find a logo that I like um, you'll see me posting it on like Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter or whatever and I'll talk about it why I like it what I don't like it helps you get to see what's new like some fresh technique and you get to really see like what everybody else is doing being out of school like I'm not really in that environment anymore like it's just me I don't have any designer friends I don't have any creative friends around me and this is the only way that I can connect, that I can like keep my hands fresh. Um, one thing I noticed, you know, I was drawing logos this week, like my connection between my eyes and my hands isn't the same. It's not sharp anymore. I've gotten really rusty and I need to get back into it. I need to start drawing again. Um, it doesn't matter what it is. I was thinking of just drawing simple things every day and just getting back into the practice of just reconnecting my eyes to my hands. And to some of you who are running other kinds of businesses and you're listening to this, and it just sounds like madness, but trust me when I say this, like through drawing, your eyes and your hands can get just super in sync. There's no way to describe it. It's just what you see is what you get and it comes out of your hand and it's incredible. And it takes a lot of work to get there, but ooh, maybe that'll be some good video content for me to produce. There's just ways that you can link that up. I'll put that in my docket. But uh, just keeping my design brain engaged and practicing and like I'll go on there I'll steal a logo and I'll just try and recreate it myself using the tools that I know how to use or maybe I'll experiment with a new tool 
I won't ever post it out saying it's my own work. Don't ever do that. But taking something and then like trying to recreate it because you learn from that. Like you're learning by doing, learning like how to mess around with the, some of the new gradient features that are in Photoshop or Illustrator or anything like that. Like just learn the new tools, see what's out. Check it out, like it's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, you should always be learning something new. You should always be growing. You should have that growth mindset. One of the important things about that morning routine that I had missed um, is about working out, you know, working out in the morning. I can't really do that, you know, since I work out or since I'm, I wake up in the afternoons, but I've been working out at work. You know, I figured out that it's, if I do a loop around my work, it's 1.23 miles. And what I'll do is I'll walk for a little bit. I'll do some calisthenics, like push-ups, um, explosions or something like that. I'll walk for a little bit more. I'll do the calisthenics again. And I'll just do that around the loop. You know, it takes me like 30 minutes. And just from that, alone like I can feel my hips just loosening up a little bit you know my hips were just so tight just from doing all the sitting from like doing computer work or just other stuff and like just being more active like I feel so much better um, I'm telling you your health is the most important thing you should invest in because one way or another like you're gonna pay to be healthy and do you want to pay when you're young like with your time or do you want to pay when you're older with your money and like you may not be able to escape it so you can be working out trying to get healthier eating better um, and I am feeling better my it's helping me you know get more energy and help lift that fog um, highly suggest it try it today just go ahead just go on a walk I've been notorious for like starting hard and just like going out and be like ah but I, I lose just so much steam with that. So I'm trying something different, trying something new. I'm just gonna start slow and then I will build up. I'll do two laps one day, start doing three laps, something like that. Uh, or I'll make it harder. I'll try and beat my time, my lap time, something. And just through all that, um, you know, I'll start feeling better. I'll get better, I'll get faster. And you know, my body, it'll take care of me. It's my meat spaceship. It's December and with that comes Christmas and nothing says Christmas like stress. This is the most stressful time of the year. You know, I got birthdays, holidays, and it's just insanity. And magically, I just gotta come up with all this money. And it just adds so much stress to my life. I can't even enjoy it. I wanna spend time with my family, but I'm just like thinking about how much all this stuff is costing and how much time I'm gonna have to put in at work just to cover all the costs of getting Christmas lights and decorations. And oh, there's this thing we wanna try out this year. And then like, oh, this person wants to get this. and. It just drives me nuts. It's nothing but stress. And this is why I am a Scrooge. Bah humbug. It's all a bunch of humbug. So stress is my Christmas spirit. Now for things that I like and things that I hate. So Adobe has this really neat app on the phone where it's called Adobe Spark. It has Adobe Video, Adobe Posts, and Adobe Notes or something like that. Um, you can get the whole suite. Uh, if you don't already have Adobe on your computer, uh, like I do, where I pay monthly. You just pay the $10 for the suite. And if you're creating content and you don't have um, the Adobe suite on your computer, and like this just makes it so easy for you. You just click and post. Super easy, super smooth. Uh, I'm trying to learn the video um, program right now and trying to hammer that down and get as proficient as I can. Um, but right now, like all three of those things, like they're great, they're fantastic. You can even have like a blog with parallax, which is really interesting. Another thing I learned, which is gonna save me so much time in editing my videos, Ripple Delete. If you don't know what Ripple Delete is, I'll go ahead and post a little tutorial below. But like that just saved me so much time. I couldn't believe that I didn't know about Ripple Delete and Adobe Premiere. Oh my gosh, it saves me so much time. Like you, you wouldn't think that seconds would just add up like that, but it really does. Check out the tutorial. If you edit video and you don't know about Ripple Delete, it's gonna save your life. Now into something that I hate, going to the dentist. So I got health insurance now and I got dental insurance. So um, my family and I were going to the dentist and going to the dentist, I remember why I hate going to the dentist. They just stab you on the gums with sharp tools and they're like, oh, you're not flossing enough. Well, I am flossing. You're just stabbing me in the gums with metal tools. And like um, the Air Force had done a crown on me a long time ago and it fell out like two years ago, but not having insurance, like I just, 
let it go like it wasn't bothering me and you know i went back and to get it fixed it's gonna be like fifteen hundred dollars and it's just insanity but i gotta get it done because i can see uh in the x-rays where like my tooth is starting to fall apart or whatever because it's just it's literally just a hollow tooth um so i gotta really get that taken care of um so i'm gonna figure out ways to get that money so I really wish I had one of those dentists where they like knock you out every time just to clean your teeth or whatever. But like I got a feeling and I'm just awake and it was just awful. I'm like, oh man, was it awful. <laughs> Thank you so much for checking in today. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment, you know, let me know what's going on with your week. What do you think about any of these things? Have you read any of the books I've suggested? Go ahead and also hit the notification bell so YouTube tells you when I post these videos, which should be every Friday at 12 Eastern Standard Time. Bye-bye.